Hi everyone, it's Kim again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making Instant Pot Meatloaf and Mashed Potatoes. I'm going to link the recipe below that I got my idea from. And with that, we're just going to go ahead and jump in and get started. So stay tuned. Okay, so the ingredients that we're using today is we have a pound of 96.4 lean ground beef. We're going to use two eggs. I've chopped up some onions and some green peppers. Um, it was about a little over a half of an onion and a very small green pepper. We're gonna be using three-fourths of a cup of old-fashioned oats, one can of tomato soup, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. The recipe calls for two, but I think I'm gonna back that down to one and one tablespoon of brown sugar, and I think I said salt and pepper to taste. If I didn't, I'm gonna salt and pepper to taste. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump in and start mixing up our meatloaf. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and dump in the ground beef. And for this ground beef, it is four ounces for three smart points. So I guess we're just gonna calculate as we go. I'm not exactly sure how many points this meatloaf's going to be yet, so once I get that figured out, I'll, um, I'll put it here or I'll put it in the title of the recipe. So we've got that in. I'm going to go ahead and crack two eggs. It's going to, first one's going to get in trouble. All right, second one, not so much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just Give my hands a little rinse there. And then we are going to just start dumping in the rest of our ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and put the salt and pepper in now. And some pepper. And these are just normal salt and pepper grinders that you see me use all the time in our recipes. All right, I'm gonna put in the brown sugar, and again, that is one tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm gonna put in my Worcestershire sauce. And the reason why I'm backing this down to one is because I don't use this that often, and I don't want the flavor to be too overpowering. So I'm just gonna start with one. Okay, so I'm going to, I guess we can start mixing this together. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix these ingredients first. I hate this part. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really, really hate this part. This is not my favorite. It's just so disgusting. All right, got that in. Ugh. All right, we're just gonna start getting our onions in here. Gonna grab our green peppers. Gonna wash my hands because I can't take it anymore. Oh, so disgusting. I need to remember to put gloves on before I do this. And I bought gloves. Did I use them? No, I did not. All right, that's a little better. Does anybody else hate doing that? Please tell me it's not just me. All right, so I've got that in there. I'm gonna grab a spoon so that we can spoon out half of our tomato soup. Right, I'm gonna put that right in here. It looks to be about half. All right. Calls for one quarter cup of ketchup. I'm gonna try my best just to eyeball that. That looks good. And then I'm going to throw in the oatmeal. Oh great, guess what I get to do again. This is not my idea of fun. But I was super excited to try this recipe so I'm hoping it turns out really, really good. All right, I think that's good. I don't want to overmix it. 
So I'm gonna wash my hands one more time and then we are going to get our pan ready. So I did say at the beginning of this video that it was going to be an Instant Pot recipe and I'm super excited to give this a try. So I've got my potatoes soaking and I'm just gonna throw those in with my meatloaf. So we're gonna be cooking everything at once. So that's kind of exciting. dry everything off, move this out of the way, and then start getting my Instant Pot ready. Now, I don't know if you were, if you watched my videos before, let's see if I can get that in the, there we go. Um, I got these stackable stainless steel insert pans, and this is what I'm going to be making the meatloaf in. I'm going to grab, you know, I can just use this measuring cup that I use for the oatmeal. I think that'll be fine. I feel like I'm all over the board today, sorry. So I'm gonna throw into the bottom of my Instant Pot one cup of water. And we're just gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna throw my meatloaf in the pan and then maybe I'll switch angles and just give you a different angle to look at. I think maybe that'll be easier. I'm going to grab the bottom piece of this and we're just going to set the other insert aside because I really don't need that one. Not sure if I should spray this, but I'm just going to err on the side of caution and grab my spray. Okay. Just going to spray that with some cooking spray just to keep it from sticking. And then we're going to spoon that mixture in. Sorry, I just can't stick my hands in that again. All right, so we're gonna get that spooned into our pan here. Pretty sure it should all fit. Yeah, perfect. going to push all that down. All right, we got that in there. All right, so let me change the angle over here so that you can see what's going on inside the Instant Pot, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so what you can see here is just the inside of my Instant Pot. We put that little over a cup of water in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my potatoes in the bottom. And I have, I don't know, maybe 10 or so little small baby red potatoes. And had I been following the directions, I would have known that I was supposed to put the brown sugar on top and not actually in the meatloaf. So good thing I only use a tablespoon of that because it's done telling how that would taste. All right, so we're going to put our rack in just so that we have something for our meatloaf to sit on. That's good. And then we're going to put the other half of can of the tomato soup in the top of our meatloaf. Sorry if that's loud. Okay, we've got that on. Got our meatloaf in there. I'm just gonna throw the pan lid on top of that and then we're going to grab our instant pot lid place that on top and then we're going to plug it in and then we're going to set this that'll take it off of here going to set this manual 30 minutes and we're just going to let that start so I'll come back to you after the 30 minutes is up and we will see what we have okay it's been 30 minutes and we're going to release the pressure off of our instant pot okay. 
All right, our pressure's out. We're gonna open it up and see what we have. Go ahead and grab myself a trivet. Set this out of the way here. I'm going to pull this out of our instant pot. Ouch. Be careful when you do that because it is kind of hot. I'm just gonna get some of that off there. All right, are we ready? Maybe I can. Okay, that's better. I had to change our angle and change our window there. We had too much sunlight coming through, so here we go. All right, I'm thinking we're gonna have to put that back in. I was worried it was a little thick, so we're gonna throw that back in. It's kind of like live TV, right? All right, so we're gonna throw this back on. And we're going to put this back on in our Instant Pot for another 15 minutes, and then we will come back at it. I think that should do the trick. Um, in the recipe directions, it did say that if you have a thicker meatloaf in your pan, you may have to cook it longer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna hit manual. I'm gonna back it down to 15 minutes. And that may be a little more than what I need, but that's okay. We're just going to let it cook, and then I will come back and show you the final product, and we'll make our mashed potatoes. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to let the steam out and take a look. Okay. Let's open her up and pull this out. Okay. You know the drill. We're going to set this off to the side. We're going to grab a trivet. This time I have my oven mitts on. Not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try to get it out using my oven mitts. Hey, that did work. Move my camera a little bit. All right, so let me scoot you back. Move everything around. See if I can get you in focus here. I'll flip you down here and bring it closer. How's that? All right. Grab a knife off my shelf. Oh, that's better. There we go. That's the way meatloaf's supposed to cut. All right, I'm gonna set this aside, let that cool down, and I'm gonna get started on my mashed potatoes. So you can see our potatoes here. First thing we need to do is drain some of that water off. So I'm gonna do that quickly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use a little bit of butter. I'm just gonna pour the water off and leave these right in the pan. There we go, hopefully they don't steam up my camera. Bring it back just a tad. Nobody needs to be that close, right? There. Okay, so I measured out two tablespoons of butter. And then I'm going to use some salt and some pepper. Before I throw, before I throw the pepper in, I'm just gonna go grab my potato masher and just start to smash these. They'll smash very easy. And I'm not looking for like a mashed potato, I'm trying to go for more of a smashed potato. So we're gonna let the Butter melt in there before I give that a final stir. Grab our pepper. And then I thought I would use this. The Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. 
thought that might be going, you know, really good in the potatoes. So I'm gonna throw some of that right on top. All right, so we're gonna let that butter melt and then I'll give it a final stir and then I'll plate this up and I'll show you what I have. Okay, I just wanted to come on here before I signed off and give you a quick little recap. So the meatloaf tasted amazing. I liked the mixture, I liked how it turned out. Would I make it in the Instant Pot again? I'm not so sure. I may just go ahead and throw that in my oven, but yet use the same recipe. The texture was good. I just, I just didn't like the fact that I had to cook it and then I had to check it and I had to cook it again. So I mean, mine was a little thicker in the pan, which I was a little worried about in the beginning but the, the flavor was amazing. So I think I found a new meatloaf recipe, just not a new method of cooking the meatloaf. All right, so with that said, I'm just gonna sign off of here, tell you have a great evening, and we'll see you next time. Bye.